Hey everybody, my name is Sebastian D'Souza and here are my top five, not ten, five dystopian novels. Number one is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. Obviously, this book is insanely uh, relevant and was incredibly prescient when it was written because it's about a flu pandemic uh, that wipes out, in this case, I think it's something like 95% of the world. But what makes it, for me, super, super cool is the way that it turns the idea of the dystopian novel on its head. And instead of saying oh my god everything was better better before and all of our terrible mistakes have led to it being a dreadful time now it sort of presents a discussion of whether the before was better than the after or, or the after is actually better than the before and uh whether we can with destruction and uh change and uh things going wrong we can actually uh, have the opportunity to reinvent and start afresh and that's what for me makes it a super cool book and number one or one of my top five dystopian novels two parable of the sower by octavia e butler um this book was written in the 90s i think the early 90s um but it's about the here and now, it's about the 20s. Um, and I think what makes this book great is two things in my opinion. It's Butler's genius um, uh, as a writer and a commentator for having kind of made this razor sharp, searing appraisal of our own power structures uh, in in the present day but through the eyes of a 15 year old african-american girl in an imaginary world and the second thing uh, that makes this book cool for me is that it is an imaginary world but it kind of feels really really close to home and like we are actually living it today so yeah octavia butler you're a genius. Thank you for the parable of the sower. Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. This book is just so much fun and total genius because it manages somehow to pull just about every single pop culture phenomenon from the 80s and before and pulls it into this crazy virtual reality universe the oasis and i was reading this i think around the time when i started writing my book kid and it made me start to wonder if this is this amazingly detailed like vivid beautiful a crazy world that Ernest Klein is, is describing inside of virtual reality that everyone is, is existing in what does the outside world look like? And I mean, he does touch on it a little bit, but I wanted to go further and explore that. So that uh, that was basically why I um, I read that and why it's on my list. Animal Farm, George Orwell. He frames this kind of like searing exploration or commentary of. Uh, communism amongst other lots of other things through through the lens of of a farm and its animals which is something anyone and everyone can understand and appreciate and uh, connect with however young so yeah it's just I mean he's a genius he's a genius what can I say Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess Three words, absolutely effing 
crazy. And that's my top five books. Top five dystopian books. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.